I am Andrea and this is Mango and we will teach you today how to set up powerful intentions for 2023 that actually work. So let me share my presentation with you. Okay. So the training structure is that the first step is that you'll uh, learn how to journal so you can set up powerful resolutions. The second step is uh, experiencing a visualization practice to manifest your desires faster. And in the third part of the presentation, you will learn how to create practical steps in achieving your goals. So how can you set up powerful 23 uh, resolu resolutions that actually work? There are two steps in this process. First is by setting powerful intentions. When you become intentional with your goals and desires, you become the creator of your reality. Instead of just randomly manifesting things into your life and business and being this passive manifester that is, let's say, at the mercy of fate. And the second step is taking the actual steps in fulfilling your desires. Usually we think and we are taught but some manifestation schools that if we hope for the best and visualize and do our affirmations and do mindset work, we will also fulfill our desires. But half of manifestation is also setting, uh, is setting the intentions, uh, but also taking the line steps to achieve these desires. Become you be because you become the most powerful creator when you hone the energetic part of manifesting your desires and when you also implement the daily steps that will take you closer to those desires being materialized in your physical world. So why it's important to set up resolutions every year? By setting up resolutions, you boost your focus on your goals throughout the year. You increase the chances of fulfilling your desires and without clear intention, you may become distracted and miss your goals. And also, the it, when you set intentions, you decrease the resistance and the self-sabotage that may come when you want to manifest something in your reality. So I am Andrea. As I said, I'm an international hypnotherapist. I work with business owners from all around the world, helping them fulfill their dreams, up-level their business. Uh, master their money mindset by shifting their subconscious mind. I've work, worked with entrepreneurs from all around the world, um, helping them create generational wealth, uh, improving their business, healing their past, and make real changes in their lives and businesses. I use subconscious reprogramming, embodiment practices, and human designs, or I'll all our subconscious tools that help you shift your subconscious mind to shift your life. I have a BA in psychology and a master's degree in business psychology. And that helps me to really provide support for both business and life. And as my certifications, I have a certification in hypnotherapy, dance therapy, art therapy, personal development, counseling, access consciousness, and inner child therapy. This is a little bit so you can know why I'm why I am here to support you with really setting resolutions that will work. So we will start with the first exercise: setting powerful intentions. Uh, I use this exercise every year uh, with myself and with my clients, and the results are amazing. The more I use it, the more I learn how to practice how to put in in practice in my life and in my business and the more it works this exercise is called the wheel of life and it's a really great tool to help you achieve balance in all areas of your life usually we are distracted by so many goals in so many directions that we can go and maybe in some years we emphasize let's say business and we forget about uh, the love in our life about uh, nourishing our relationships and other years we prioritize finances but we don't take into consideration our health for example and this imbalances over the years creates health problems um, low motivation low self-esteem so in order for us to really feel that we have a balanced life we need to work on all these aspects of our lives 
So the Wheel of Life really, um, it's really helpful because it gives you like a visual representation of each aspect of your life and how you can improve it. And in this exercise, we will take each area of your life. You will visualize your idea self and desires in this area. And then you'll write down some powerful intention. So let's start with personal development, the first area. I invite you to take a deep breath in and let's start with the visualizing exercise. So take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, close your eyes and center in yourself, in your body. And I invite you to bring into your inner world this area of your life, personal development. And I want you to see yourself at the end of 2023. Imagine yourself maybe around New Year's Eve or when you do the New Year's resolutions for next year and you look back to 2023. And I want you to see how was your personal development area? How is this ideal you that has the personal development area very um, up level and evolved and just see what education did you have what was the level of your conf confidence how open you were to new experiences how eager you were to learn how do you see yourself growing as a person how you, you invested in yourself and if you think you invested enough. And did you think that you grow as an individual because of the scenarios and environments around you, because of the education around you? And once you have an idea of how the personal development area is in 2023 for you, you can open your eyes and you can pause this training and you can write in your journal. Another important thing is, and this will help you, this will help ease your process in the future, is I would love for you to have a, um, an, this to be like your only journal where you write the 2023 resolutions because I want you every month to come back to your res resolutions and make the plan for every month. And this will uh, make the process easier for you because at the end of 2023, you can look back and see um, how, how easy it was for you to, to do all your resolutions. And it will help you be more focused if you have an only, this, if you use the, a single journal for, for this theme. Okay, so now that we've talked about your personal development area, let's jump into the next area, like your environment. And I invite you again to take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, close your eyes and let your shoulders come down and relax. And just look around you and imagine that you are in your perfect environment in your ideal environment and just look and see is it pleasant stimulating are the people around you helping you with your growth and success is your room or house or space that you're living physically set up for you to succeed where are you living? Maybe this year you will move to your dream country, to your dream house. Really see all the details. The more details you will see in this visualization, the more it will help you manifest it in your life. So once you have an idea of your ideal environment, I invite you to open your eyes and you can again pause this video and write in your journal everything that came from you for you in this um, exercise. What space did you saw? How did you felt there? What details helped you ground yourself in that moment? How is the room, the house that you want to live in? 
And after you finish writing all the details about your physical environment and your resolutions for 2023, you can play the video again. So spirituality is the third area of your life based on the wheel of life. And uh, it's regarding connecting with yourself and with the outer world. So I invite you now to close your eyes again, center yourself in your body and allow your body to melt away on the chair, the sofa you are sitting on and just tune into this field of spirituality. This is also connected with healing. What intentions do you have to heal this year? Maybe you really want to change those old stories. Maybe you want to improve your money mindset. Maybe you want to heal some childhood wounds. How do you see yourself spiritually up level, uh, uplifted this year? Do you feel yourself, do you find yourself aligned? Do you have some spiritual practices? My intention for this year is to do every morning, morning practices to help me center, just to help center myself in the moment. How do you feel your connection to, you, to the universe? Do you feel connected to the universe? Do you feel like you can co-create with the universe, the desires, the resolutions that you're setting? Now, once you have a clear idea of your spirituality for 2023, you can open your eyes and press pause on this video so we can write everything that you experienced in this short visualization practice in your journal. And once you finished writing, you can unpause this video. The next aspect is health. So again, I invite you to take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, just close your eyes and tune into your body. See what sensations you feel, how connected you feel with your body. And just discover how do you want to feel this year in your body? How much energy do you want to have? How do you want to feel physically? How do you want to feel emotionally? If you want to lose weight, for example, just tune into what would be your ideal weight. What sleep patterns you want to have, like sleep longer, get some more sleep during the year. Maybe you want to experience more relaxation and to have a more uh, flexible schedule with your business so you can relax more. Maybe you want to go to the gym and have like a daily routine to work out on your body. Just tune into all these aspects of your health. How do you feel about your body? How do you feel about your health? How is your presence when you are with somebody? How athletic you feel? And once you have an idea of what how you want to feel and look in your body. I want you to open your eyes and you can pause this video to write on our journal everything that you experienced. The next area of your life is family. So I invite you to close your eyes. And when you exhale, just tune into the center of your being and allow just a deep breath in to center yourself in this present moment. And I invite you to see your connection with your family. How do you feel are your relationships with your family in this moment? Do you feel you have a healthy communication or do you want this year to create a more assertive communication between you? Is there a mutual understanding? Do you feel understood? Or do you want to feel more accepted by your family? How is your relationship with each one of them and how do you want to co-create it this year? Do you feel that you spend enough time with them or you want to spend more time with them? 
Do you feel that you are connected with them or you would like to be more connected with them? Once you felt into the relationships with your family, you can open your eyes and you can write on your journal some New Year's resol resolutions that you got from this exercise. The next area that we will work on is social and friends. And I invite you to close your eyes, take a deep breath in, close your eyes, just allow like a soft blanket of relaxation to cover your forehead and your eyes, your eyelids, your nose, your cheeks, your lips, your teeth. And from this place of relaxation, I invite you to just visualize your 2023 relationships with your friends. Are you having satisfying relationship with others? Do you go with your friendships to another level? Maybe you travel with your friends or maybe you meet more like-minded people. Do you have a social life or you want to improve your social life? Do you want to offer a contribution to the community you're in? Maybe do some volunteering. And just see how is your relationship with your friends, with the people around you? Do you feel that you spend enough time with them or maybe you want to spend more time with them? Do you feel that you are connected with them or do you want more connection with your friends? And once you tune into this area of your life as well, you can open your eyes and you can start writing. How do you see your 2023 relationship with your friends on your journal? The next area that we will talk about is love. So I invite you to take a deep breath in. Just tune into your body, into your energy. And I want you to tune into your heart now. Because with each deep breath you're taking, you're creating more space into your heart to receive love, to give love. And from your heart, not from your mind, I want you to visualize how do you see your love life in 2023. How much love you feel in your life? If you have a partner, how is your life with your partner? If you're looking for a romantic relationship, how that relationship should be like? And just tune into how do you receive love? How do you give love? How do you want that to change in 2023? Do you want to live a vibrant life even if you're single? Just tune into the level of your love in your life for 2023. And once you felt that, I invite you to open your eyes and start writing your 2023 resolutions for your love aspect of your life. Now let's talk about career or business. So I invite you to Close your eyes and allow your hands, your arms, your elbows to melt away on your lap and just feel supported by the chair, the bed, the sofa you're sitting on. And from this place of support, I invite you to think about 2023 and how do you want your career to look like? How do you want your business to look like? Maybe you want to find a deeper purpose. Maybe you want to achieve higher levels of success. Maybe you want to grow more or to achieve more. Maybe you want to make more money in your business and tune into how much money do you want to make. And see yourself. See yourself as a CEO, as an entrepreneur, thriving and where do you want your business, your career to be in 2023? And once you tune into your 2023 business or career resolutions, I invite you to open your eyes and start writing them on your journal. And when you finish, you can come back to this video.
The next area of your life that we will meditate and visualize is finance. So I invite you to take a deep breath in and feel the breath in your belly. Feel all your internal organs organizing and relaxing in your belly. Feel yourself surrounded by, by space and calmness and ease and abundance. I invite you to tune into 2023 finances re resolutions. What income do you want to create this year? What is your savings account look like? How much budget you have for pleasure, for investing in yourself, for spending? How much do you want to invest in yourself this year? How is your financial education? Maybe you want to invest in some money mindset programs. What does your business, uh, what does your bank account look like? Where do you see yourself financially at the end of 2023? And just see your bank account, see the money in your wallet, see the different business work opportunities, see how you manifested passive income and multiple streams of income. Just tune into all of this. And once you have a clear, a clear idea, I invite you to open your eyes and start writing in your journal the 2023 resolutions. Now, the last area is fun and recreation. And I invite you to close your eyes for the last time and just tune into how much fun you're currently having in your life and how much fun you want to have in 2023. Think about what adventures you want to have, maybe where you want to travel this year, how much fun you have, how much you laugh, what experiences you live this year. What hobbies you want to have, maybe find new hobbies or explore deeper the current hobbies that you have. What do you do for recreation, for relaxation? What is it that you need to be doing to get to the next level? And what is the gap between your rhythm right now and how much free time you want? Tune into all of this and once you have the, the perfect idea, the ideal of how you want your fun and recreation to look like in 2023, you can open your eyes and you can pause this video and write in your journal everything that came for you. Now that you have all these goals written on the journal, all the eight areas resolutions we can start to actually creating some practical steps for you to achieve them because as we said in the beginning of the video you can have you can set the powerful resolutions but without the action there is a lesser chance for them to achieve and fulfill so I invite you to create like a 12 column on your notebook or on your laptop. You can either, you can even create like a document on your laptop, on your computer and 12 columns. And I want you to put every month on each one of the columns. And I want you to start with January and write one simple step for January that you can take for each one of these areas based on the resolutions you set up in the previous exercise. So for example, if for personal development, you set up the resolution to heal yourself in 2023, in January, I want you to set up like the most uh, simple and basic step that you can. For example, hire a therapist or go to therapy or reading a self-help book can be a uh, first step and start writing a practical step that you can take for each one of these areas of your life and start with the most simple steps and grow progressively because this will help you build momentum and raise your self-esteem 
and add uh, these steps to your calendar to also receive notifications and reminders and keep yourself accountable. So for example, let's say that for fun and recreation, you want to uh, meet more people in 2023. So in January, you can go to a local gathering of people that have the same hobbies as you, let's say. So book in your calendar a date uh, you may look online and find groups that share the same interest and book uh, an a, a, a evening to go out with that group or look for events and see when those events are happening in your city and add that date to your calendar. But Because by adding these dates, you keep yourself accountable. And for each step that you'll be doing, I invite you I invite you to reward yourself. Give something like, um, if you do something that is simple, give yourself like a simple reward. Eating something nourishing, drinking something nourishing, going for a walk. And if you uh, achieve something that's really complex and you had a lot of resistance, then reward yourself with a higher price. So write a practical step for each of these areas for each month of this year and keep this journal until the end of the year. And do this, you can do this, um, come back to your journal at the beginning of every month to see how much, how many steps did you took from the resolutions and how the resolutions are going so you can keep yourself accountable even more. This is an example from one of my clients um, of the wheel of life. So she has, let's say, the personal growth area in, in her life and she wanted to trust herself to take more action. So a step uh, would be to print some uh, astrological uh, energetic blueprints so she can see when she can take the steps during the week. And I also helped her to create some affirmation from if, for each step. So the affirmation for personal growth was, I'm a creative storyteller and a magnificent art teller. I'm always prepared and my ideas are always shared because she's an artist. So you can inspire yourself from her New Year's resolutions and what steps uh, she took to... Uh, really make these resolutions work. So what my clients said after they did the will of life, after I guided them to do their will of life was, I am obsessed with the will of life you created for me. I feel like it's higher self vibes. It helps me connect with my future self and manifest faster my desires. Thank you for this beautiful exercise and for guiding me through each step of creating my resolutions. Varel, which is a business owner and one of my previous clients said, Andrea was amazing to work with. I love the simple step-by-step -step process. I enjoyed the entire experience of buying my entire 2023. I enjoyed it so much. I would want to order another Wheel of Life. And Laura, who is a coach, said, Andrea, I love, love, love the Wheel of Life exercise and the practical steps we created. I love everything about it. It felt, I felt very happy when I did the visualization exercises because I saw myself with all my desires already fulfilled. So if you want to go deeper than just creating a resolution list for 2023, in uh, on January 11th so in one week from now i have a 21 day challenge using subconscious practices to consciously create 2023 so the challenge starts in starts in one week from now how does it work is i will share their daily subconscious practices on telegram in a group on telegram this is the first practice that i'm going to share creating uh, resolutions that actually work and you can also share your experiences in the group and receive my support based on uh, what comes up for you in the process. It's, the practice is um, $1 per day, so it's 
21 days, $21 for 21 days. And you can join by uh, looking at the link below this video and send $21 to the PayPal account link below. And this is the first uh, way that you can go deeper with this work. And the second way is uh, I also create personalized vision boards that actually works that uh, I do this by creating a vision board that has the affirmation that you saw I created for my client as well. And it also has a customized manifestation hypnosis to finally create the life you desire. So based on your, um, I will, first of all, I will guide you to create your own um, resolutions like I will guide you in the process and I will also create for you like the vision board and I will also create based on your uh, personalized resolution I will create a hypnosis for you so this project came from the need to uh, help people befriend, befriend their subconscious minds and finally manifest the life they desire by using visualization and customized images and affirmations and hypnosis because you may try consciously to manifest the life you desire like vision boards affirmations visualizations but nothing can work if your subconscious mind has a conflict uh, a story that doesn't uh, that it's not aligned with what you want to achieve with your conscious mind. So that's why the personalized vision board pro pro uh, project really helps you to befriend your subconscious mind so you can uh, support yourself in the process instead of self-sabotaging your process of achieving the life you desire. So thank you so much for watching me today in this presentation. I hope you uh, make the best 2023 resolutions that will actually work so let me know in the comments below how was this video for you and what value did you get and also if you need more support with your um with creating your own um, resolutions you can add uh, the question in the comment section below thank you again for watching me and i wish you the most fulfilling 2023 ahead